Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to do the eyes for the villager rig. So as you can see, this is what we're going to have. We're going to have the eyes, and they're going to be able to move them around very smoothly. Um, we're going to do a different method than I used in the in the other rig tutorial. So what we're going to first have to do is create the eyes. So in the create geometry tabs, uh, create a box and make the width, length and height 1, that 1, 1 and 1 and you can either eye it if you want to the center of it or you could go to create shapes make a rectangle and just make a rectangle and in the modify tab change the length to 3 and the width of 5. That should be what your size of your um, eye socket is for the villager if you did it like mine. If it isn't then use whatever dimension you found or get a rough thing. So just line that up perfectly with the eye from the front view which you can press with F and wireframe is F3. Or you can go to this thing in the top corner here and that's got shaded realistic and wireframe here. So after you've got that back into perspective mode if you want, which is P. And as you see we have a rectangle, so you can move that forward if you want. And now reselect your cube or box and we're going to use the align tool. So you use the align tool. Align it to the box you just made. And make sure it's center by center, not pivot point by pivot point. So it should be perfectly centered. And then you just move it backwards and it should be perfect. So I'm just going to delete my old ones because I don't need those. So after you've got both of them done, it's just what we're going to do first actually before we copy it over is just make sure this is all correctly put in the right location. It doesn't really matter how far it goes back, you can change it later if you really want to. So after you've done that, what you're going to want to do is convert it to an editable poly. So right click, convert to editable poly. Make sure it's selected, of course. And you're going to want to go and select the. F you're going to want to go into selection uh, in the modifier list uh, to polygon, which is the flat red square. And select the front and the back faces of the cube. And then you're going to go to edit polygons and inset so the little square uh, box beside the inset click that and change it to 0 0.3 or something similar to that and after you've done that you're going to want to copy it so we're going to copy it up first so what we're going to do is before we do the whole control panel thing and move it around, what we're going to do is make the mor a morpher for a slider to make the pupil size so we can make it bigger and smaller. So this is probably going to be how small it's going to be now, so you may want to make the size smaller now before we do what we're about to do. But if you think that's as small as your pupil you're ever going to want, then just leave. So after you've done that, just hold down shift and move, and move it up. Make sure it's a copy. And you're going to want to just go into the vertex selection. So that's the three dots, red dots. And you're going to want to leave the center ones. So select everything outside, so all the corners except for the center ones. And using the scale tool, you're going to want to scale those up diagonal so that it's bigger. And make it as big as you think you're ever going to make the pupils. So that's up to you. So and I believe you could change it afterwards but uh, it's better to get it right now because you're going to have to recopy over the eye balls for the, other, for the other eye. So after you've done that you can give it a different color if you really want to just so it looks black if you want like I've just done with changing the little color up in the top here but well, you can always add a material layer which is probably best so you can change it to blue or brown or something so after you've done that, I want to reselect the small pupil, the main one, and we're going to add a morpher. So under the modifier list, 
uh, press M if you want, and find the morpher. Modifier. And then pick object from scene. And choose the big pupil we just made. So what you should see happen is if we changed it from 0 to 100, the pupil expands, which is what we wanted. So yeah, that's awesome. So now we've done that, what we're going to want to do is create a another slider. So select any of these sliders, doesn't matter which one. Make sure you only select one and then just copy it over. You can choose where to put it. I'm just going to move over here. You can rename it if you want, but I won't do that for now. And uh, so after you've done that, just like we've done with all Reaction Manager, uh, go to Animation, Reaction Manager, uh, Show Selected, um, Add Master, choose the the um, little circle, Transform, FK Sub Control, Position, Add Slave, choose the Eyeball, uh, Modifier Object, Morpher, and select the first one. And then you're going to want to make that s s minus 2, so make sure you're in parent. Then add, create a state, and under value, for this state to uh, change it to 100. So now you should get a slider that does that, which is good. Yay! So, yeah. So after you've done that, I believe we should just now be able to copy this over. So hold down shift, copy it over, and let's see. Yep, and it works perfectly. That's good. I was worried that we'd have to do it and move it twice, but no. So now both of these are connected to this slider, so we can now make them tripping on acid or something. So change that back to two so we have normal. And as you can see I have changed the from the cubes down to the shape that we got here now, which is what you're gonna need to do now. So delete one of these two squares that we created uh, in an earlier tutorial. So make sure it's only one of them here. Because we're gonna copy it over after we've done it. So you're always going to be square, so the inner square you're going to want to change to 2.5 length and width 5. And then the outer square you're going to want to change to length 3 and width 5.5. And after you've done that, you're going to notice that when you move the circle around, it's going outside the box. So you're going to need to go and select the circle and go to the hierarchy, I key and change the values. So in the x-axis is 2.5 minus 2.5 and for the y-axis it's minus 1.25 1, 1.25 So that should be it. You shouldn't have to worry about the z-axis and after you've done that copy it over. So just select that and copy it over. You may have to move it slightly over if you've just done that because there's slightly further width and all you're going to need to do is select the pupil with the select and link tool the, uh, right in the top corner uh, selecting it, drag it and put it on the circle and I shall move this around and as you can see it works and it's far better than the Morpher version it's smooth, it's, it's far more smooth, it's more more. it's just, I don't know why I did the other version I made it more complicated than it needed to be and do the same with the other circle and it should now work now you're probably wondering what happens when I turn oh okay that didn't work so yeah so what you're gonna want to do is you want to make sure that you've got everything linked to the head so make sure the, the, uh, the control power is actually linked to the head make sure the I the, the, the eyebrow is connected and the nose is connected and let's just see how it works. I make sure the mouth is of course linked to it so now you should 
uh, now that you should you'll be able to go madly around like this and just get into a random position. You're probably wondering, oh, but when I go on here and try and move the uh, the uh, the eye, it's gonna go. It's not gonna work very well because it's on the wrong axis and that. Well, make sure you're not in view for position. Uh, if it's if it's view, it's gonna stay on whatever the world axis is. But if you go to local or parent, which it should be parent, uh, you'll you'll be you'll be fine. As you can see. So yeah, it should work fine. It shouldn't be an issue. Uh, you could change the size of the pupils, and it should work. Yep. So yeah, that's pretty much all you had to do for that. And get it back to normal. So next we are going to leave it there I think so yeah that's pretty much all you have to do for the eyes you now have a slider for the pupil dilation and you can move the eyes around properly uh, you're probably going to want to add a material to the eyes uh, make sure you name it and everything so that's pretty much it for this tutorial um, next tutorial we might do the eye brow possibly and then we will go on to doing the the body so um thank you for watching this tutorial if you liked it uh like it share it subscribe um if you've got a question or you know, have a comment or anything just comment in the youtube comments and i'll try and get back to you if you need any help and um if you didn't like this video dislike it if you want um so thank you for watching